If you don't know, now you know. It's true. Your friends, family, and loved ones will be the first ones to try and talk you out of greatness. When you're ready to do something and try something new that's out of your comfort zone, that's out of your norm, it's always the one you're dating, the one you're married to, the one that's in your family, your friends in your immediate circle that will always try and talk you out of doing something special and significant. walk into bold and uncomfortable doors without having fear and rejection, without having fear of the word no. Do you know how many people have had visions, ideas, and huge career moves that they were about to make? And they allowed the word no to stop them from changing the landscape of their life and their family lives. So many people are afraid of rejection and the word no. It is the saddest shit I've ever witnessed in my life. So I no longer have fear of rejection. I no longer have fear of the word no. I've never, I, I no longer give power to the word no. I could care less about you rejecting me, disowning me, me having visions and ideas and you not seeing what I see. I see what's not there. Only those that can see the invisible can do the impossible. I see what's not there. I have visions. My visions are bold and unapologetic. Boldly walk into the room with your head held up high. And if they don't get it, laugh about it. Don't disown your ideas because they're disowning your ideas. Don't lose confidence in your ideas because they don't have confidence in your ideas. You got gifts, you got talents, you got capabilities, you got, you got inventions, you got phone apps, you got all of these things that you need to unleash on the world. You don't have money, you may not have the financial resources, but don't allow your visions and ideas to be stifled because of what's in your bank account or not. When you have visions and ideas, you do any means necessary to get a hold of the investors and the people with all the money in the world who don't have your ideas to see to it that your ideas come to life. I am so proud of you already because only a chosen few will hear this message and you're gonna reactivate the beast inside of you and move on those visions, ideas, and inventions. I'm proud of you. I'm celebrating your success already. You know, what is the secret of achieving goals? You know, how do you really quantitate it? How do you put it down so every day you know if you're going in that direction of success or maybe you're altered? You know, and people are like, man, is it your genetics? Is it your potential? Is it, you know, when it comes down to it, success has nothing to do with potential. It's all about the perseverance of somebody. That will override any endeavor. If you throw shit against the wall, eventually something will stick. You guys that are, have this potential, don't have this potential, you know, that shit dies. What continues to last forever is a perseverance to always show up. That's what champions do. Every single champion is the same as every ordinary person. The only differential is that they show up to the event every single day. They see failure as a learning curve. They welcome failure. You learn more from failure than you ever will from success. So showing up and getting knocked on your ass, finally testing for you, stand back up and re- they said endeavor is going to be the overriding factor that makes a difference. How do you know when you're doing those things? The small things in life add up to those big monumental things. When I say the small things, it's a character building block that your name means something. You hold value to your name. If you drop trash on the ground, you pick it up because that's your responsibility. You hold value to yourself. 
and you shake someone's hand, you look them in the eye, you give them a firm handshake, because you're here for a purpose. Everything you do, you do to the best of your ability. It doesn't matter what you're doing, it's the fact that you're doing it, so therefore it means something to you. That's going to build a legacy. Because, you know, the title out there doesn't mean shit. You win the title, fine. That title will not get you another title. What you're trying to build is a legacy. You know, footprints behind you that are left motivation for someone else to follow. Legacy is built daily through the character, through the willpower, the code of conduct within somebody. And that's the perseverance, showing up every single day. That will always achieve your goal. It doesn't matter what you're born with, it doesn't matter your potential, how much, you know, the silver spoon of money you have, all of that can be attained if you show up and you're willing to, to risk failure for success. I want to introduce y'all to this very simple concept that if you want it, you got to go get it. Some of y'all got this concept of what you want, what you want to accomplish. You know, some of y'all are motivated by broke. I'm broke, I'm stuck, I'm fucked up, I can't do nothing. Some of y'all are motivated by just wanting to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. Other folks are motivated by materialistic things. It's a very simple concept. If you want it, you gotta go get it. And what does that mean? It means that you trying to convince me or anybody else that you wanna get it when you partying all week, as soon as you get any kind of money, you buying a bunch of shit that you really can't afford. What you got the latest iPhone for? See, everything about what you're doing and the moves that you're making is getting in the way of the big picture. Everything. You still clubbing, you still partying, you still popping bottles with models, you doing the most already, and you ain't even on. You trying to convince everybody around you that you on, but you not on. You know the truth, and I know the truth. You ain't on. Most of the people who really ain't got it, they go out of their way to try and show people that they have it. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide, fuck clubs, fuck partying, fuck trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying because I'm trying to get it. Let me tell you something, homie. The more weird you are, is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your shit, molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you gonna fly. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. Fuck all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today, it's about the future. You do the work now, do the work now, and all of the shit that you could ever wanna do for your family, your kids, your loved ones, it's all gonna be on a whole nother stratosphere. It's time to stay focused, man. This is what I hope. I hope this video makes you uncomfortable. Cause I look at this, I look at this as a mirror. You get to look yourself in the mirror and ask hard and tough questions. What am I doing every single day with my life? Creating obstacles, challenges, and distractions for myself. I am so proud of you already. 
because only a chosen few will hear this message and you're going to reactivate the beast inside of you and move on those visions, ideas, and inventions. I'm proud of you. I'm celebrating your success already.